Hello friends, today you'll see how 30 famous Hollywood actresses of the 80s, 90s have changed and also compare how they looked then at the peak of their careers and how they look now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Whoopi Goldberg is the recipient of the prestigious Academy Award for her role as Alda Mae Brown in the film Ghost. She has also received seven Emmy nominations and an Academy Award nomination for her work in The Color Purple. Kathleen Turner made her film debut in 1981 in Body Heat, but gained fame after participating in the filming of Romance in the Stone as John Wilder, for which she received a Golden Globe for her role in Peggy Sue Got Married has an Oscar nomination. Tori Spelling began her career in 81 with the filming of the series Vegas and nine years later landed the iconic role of Donna Martin in the television series Beverly Hills 19210. Her other memorable work was starring in Scary Movie 2. Joan Allen got her start in by playing in compromising positions in 1985 but was able to gain wide popularity among the audience with the release of Nixon, for which she was nominated for an Oscar. In addition, she has two Oscar and Emmy nominations. Nicole Kidman appeared in Moulin Rouge in 2001 and it was one of her iconic roles that brought her popularity. A year later, the movie The Hours, where she played Virginia, earned her an Academy Award. Among her awards are an Emmy and five Golden Globes. Glenn Close made her first big screen appearance in The World According to Garp, where its performance earned her an Oscar nomination. One of her famous works, 201 Dalmatians, Cruella de Vil, brought a Golden Globe nomination, also has a free Emmy awards. Meryl Streep won her first Oscar in 1980, for her performance in Kramer vs. Kramer and was also awarded a Golden Globe, but her popularity came with the movie Sophie's Choice. In addition, she has two more Oscars, three Emmys and nine Golden Globes. Uma Thurman gained fame for her role as Mia Wallace in Pulp Fiction and for which she won her only Academy Award in 1995 and her familiar film was Kill Bill. She has been nominated three times for a Golden Globe and won once and has an Emmy nomination. Emma Thompson has had landmark career roles in such films as Howard's End and Sense and Sensibility, which have not only brought her popularity, but for each of them she has also won an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. She also has an Emmy Award for the film Alan. Amanda Beers started her career as an actress on All My Children, where she played the role of Amanda Cousins. A landmark work for which she became recognizable was the film Fright Night, for her, where she played the role of Amy Peterson. Kelly McGillis began acting in films in 1983 in Ruben Ruben as Geneva Spofford. A few years later, filming Witness, role of Rachel, made her recognizable and also brought Kelly a nomination for the Golden Globe in the category of Best Supporting Role. Lara Flynn Boyle gained popularity starring in the television series Twin Peaks as Donna Hayward. In 1997, she took part in the movie The Practice, a role of Helen Gamble, for which she was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress. Heather Locklear rose to fame for her role as Amanda in the TV series Melrose Place, for which she received four Golden Globe nominations. She also played Caitlin in the TV series Spin City, for which she was nominated several times for a Golden Globe. Joan Van Ark began her career with Days of Our Lives in 70, but her iconic role was Valine in the TV series Dallas, which brought her recognition. In 85, she was one of the Emmy Award nominees for her participation in the CBS tournament of Roses Parade. 
Tilda Swinton first appeared on screen in Caravaggio in 86 and her performance in the movie Michael Clayton, the role of Karen Crowder in 2008, earned her an Academy Award. In addition, Tilda has been nominated three times for a Golden Globe. Andy McDowell gained recognition starring in Sex, Lies and the Videotape, for which she received her first Golden Globe nomination in 1990. In addition, she was nominated three more times for the Golden Globes and won among other actors for short cuts. Linda Hamilton began her acting career in 1979 with the film Night Flowers, role of wafer but gained worldwide fame after starring in the films The Terminator, where she played Sarah Connor, has won Emmy nomination and three Golden Globe nominations. Linda Evans had a memorable role as Crystal Carrington in the television series Dynasty, which brought her fame and four Golden Globe nominations and one win, as well as an Emmy nomination has her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, received in 1987. Daryl Hannah is particularly remembered by audiences for her role as Elle in Kill Bill Vol. 2. One of the first movies she starred in was Blade Runner as Priest, for which she was also awarded a Saturn Award. Charlie Theron made her first film appearance as a director in Monster 2001, which brought her not only fame, but also won her an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. She also has an Emmy nomination and two Oscar nominations. Lauren Hughes rose to fame starring in the television series The Love Boat, where she played cruise director Julie McCoy for 10 years and for which she received her only Golden Globe nomination in 82. The film of Police Story was the start of her career. Faye Dunaway Faye Dunaway is an Oscar and Golden Globe winner for Network 1976 for her role as Diana and also received nominations for those awards for her roles in Bonnie and Clyde and Chinatown, which also brought her wide acclaim. She is an Emmy Award winner. Victoria Jackson first began acting in 1982 on the television series The Jeffersons, where she appeared in one episode as Wendy, but she gained fame by starring in the television program Saturday Night Live, where she appeared in various images. Linda Day George got her start as an actress in 62 on Highway 66 as Allison and Bibi. She became known among the general public for her role as Liza in the TV series Mission Impossible, for which she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award and an Emmy. Sally Struthers' first job was as Betty in Five Easy Pieces, 1970. A year later, she was cast as Gloria in the television series All in the Family, which not only made her recognizable, but also earned her two Emmy Awards and four Golden Globe nominations. Ray Don Chong first appeared on screen in 74 in the television movie The Wiz Kid and the Mystery at Riverton, the role of Greta. One of her popular works is the role of Cindy in the 85 film Commander, where she plays alongside with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Kathy Coleman first appeared on the screen in 1975 in the television series Adam 12 in the cameo role of Dora Cartwright. A major project for her was the television series Land of the Lost, where the role of Holly Marshall brought her some fame. Sharon Stone is nominated for an Academy Award for her role as Ginger in Casino, a role that earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. But participation in the filming of Basic Instinct made her really popular. Catherine O'Hara became a household name after starring in Beetlejuice 1988, but two years later she gained international fame with the release of Home Alone, where played the role of Kate. She is the winner of the Golden Globe Award and two Emmy Awards. 
Bridget Fonda was nominated for an Emmy Award in 1997 for her performance as Anne in In the Gloaming and the motion picture Scandal and After Emmy, earning her a Golden Globe nomination. She is best known for her performance in Single White Female. Jamie Lee Curtis is best known for her role in True Lies 1994 as Helen, for which she won a Golden Globe Award. She is also known for her appearances in horror movies, one of which was Halloween as Laurie. She was nominated for an Emmy in 88. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.